The Indiana Jones movies did to archaeology what Top Gun did to flying an F-14 Tomcat. It made it look like the coolest thing around back in the early 1980s. And who didn't like Indiana Jones? I mean, Harrison Ford was in it, and Harrison Ford is Han Solo. It's like every kid growing up in the 80s loved the Indiana Jones movies. And one of the earliest movies I remember seeing was Raiders of the Lost Ark in theater. In fact, the first movie I remember my dad taking me to was The Empire Strikes Back. So if you're going to remember a movie as being your first, that's pretty much the one to remember because it's still one of the greatest movies ever made. But moving on to this video game based on the first Indiana Jones movie, when I saw that I had Raiders of the Lost Ark for the Atari buried deep within my collection, I was pretty excited because I figured it would just be a remake of Pitfall or Jungle Hunt with the Indiana Jones theme and maybe some different colored blocks somewhere representing, uh, you know, trees or walls or something. But boy was I surprised when I found out that this game requires abstract logic to play it. I had to look that up online because I really thought that I was just simply too stupid to play this game. And actually, I was correct. I am too stupid to play this game because I really could barely figure any of it out. This screen confused me. I thought those were presents and Christmas boots. Now, obviously, that's a snake. And if you see at the bottom of the screen, you have a collection of items like a gun and a key and a grenade. And if you read online, you can actually see what to use all these for. But I played the game just picking it up and playing it. And wow, I mean, this one's just an interesting game. If you like adventure and sword quest, water world and fire world and those kind of games, you might like this one. I personally don't care for those kind of games. What made the Indiana Jones movies so great was the tremendous character of Indiana Jones and the, and the story and, and the action and the adventure. And this game doesn't use any of that. The game has very little to do with the plot of Raiders of the Lost Ark. And when you think of the kind of games that came out on the Atari like Jungle Hunt and Pitfall and Vanguard, you can see where they could have combined some elements of these other popular side-scrolling adventure games or, or vertical scrolling shooting kind of games and, and, and could have possibly worked that into an Indiana Jones game that was really exciting. I think that trying to make an abstract strategy game out of Indiana Jones is like trying to make a romantic comedy out of Platoon. It, it's, it just doesn't fit. I wanted to play the game to be in the movie. You see Indiana Jones running from the giant boulder that's trying to crush him and the bad guys. And Needless to say, in the end, I was a little disappointed with the game because I just wanted the adventure aspect where Indiana Jones maybe swings from tree to tree or, or goes through the caverns and searches for the, the Staff of Ra or does shots with, with Marion. That would be a cool game where your job is to beat Marion at a contest doing shots before the bad guys get there and machine gun the entire place. They could call it Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Last Case of Jägermeister. Jägermeister.